Hey guys, this is Kedar here and Home Assistant awakens your home. You might be asking, but how? Let me explain. Well, Home Assistant is a open source worldwide community of DIY enthusiasts like you and me. With just a Raspberry Pi and SD card, you can run your own local Home Assistant server. Once you do this, well guys, possibilities are endless. You can integrate any IoT device and control them however you want. If you have a Wi-Fi light, Philips Hue, Sunup power measurement meter or for example any other branded Chinese cameras or things like that guys. You can integrate them all in one home assistant server and control them however you want. So guys before going to installation process let me show you my example home assistant dashboard. So let's get to it. You can see the dashboard and there you go guys you can see the solar energy consumption of our house which is 130 watts it's a very low at this time but you get it guys sunset is already happened and you can see guys our home consumption home energy consumption is 334 watts right now these power readings are taken from sunup power r2 with task moda firmware installed onto it and this is our entire home consumption so it's really good to see all of the readings right onto my smartphone you can see guys into the shriek room i can see the motion is clear and detected that means there is a person inside the room also the temperature humidity inside the room i can also turn on and off the bulb also i can turn on and off the pants yeah it's really useful guys and you know what the great part about this temperature and humidity measurement the home assistant automatically decides when to turn on and off the pan the light bulb and things like that and there are many things guys i mean i'm just touching the tip of the iceberg right over here i can control every control inside our house individually and yeah it's very useful now i have also integrated cameras into one place like there are three or four cameras which is also possible now if you have a lot of different branded cameras seeing all of those in one place is the best thing that you can have about these cameras and home assistant makes this possible also there are tv controls you can see our google home i can speak anything over here and broadcast in our entire house and all google homes will shout out this command now if you want all of the detailed readings in one place here you go guys the grid energy readings are here the voltage current power consumption kilowatts per hour apparent power reactive power power factor and same for our solar energy production so yeah guys this is all up to you how you want to customize this home automation dashboard so guys now you know how useful the home assistant is so let's install this onto raspberry pi so let's get started so i added a link in the description below so you can check out the home assistant page this is homeassistant.io so the first step first we need to download all the files so that we can install so click on get started so the first installation step is to check your hardware now as the suggested hardware they recommend raspberry pi 4 model b 2 gigabyte plus a 2.5 amp power supply and you need a sd card class 2 at least 32 gigabytes or bigger now if you don't have a raspberry pi 4 model b don't worry guys i'm actually going to show you that you can install this onto any raspberry pi I'm going to use my Raspberry Pi Zero that has an integrated Wi-Fi chip. So yeah guys, uh, without worry you can use any Raspberry device. Well heading over to the second step is the software requirement. So to download and extract the home assistant for your specific device, click over here on your device so that you can select the specific image for whatever raspberry or any other listed device you have now scrolling through all the devices listed over here you can see guys all the raspberry pi devices are included 
plus there is intel nuc and other tinker board and things like that now if you need to install this onto your virtual machine you can download this vmdk vsdk these kind of images but we need uh, image for our raspberry pi 0w so let's click over here and shortly we will going to download the image so click on save and there it is guys our image will be downloaded now to flash the downloaded image file onto your sd card you need this balenicer tool so click over here and download this tool with the given link over here so here it is guys our files are downloaded so we need to install the balenicer tool so double click on that and click on i agree and it will automatically install so after the installation open up the balenicer tool and here you can see this window now make sure you connect your sd card to your computer and then select the flashing file that we have just downloaded and select a target device as your sd card and flash the image onto that sd card so meanwhile the flashing process you can create a wi-fi configuration file so to make this file click over here so this profile is for the ethernet and this is for the wi-fi my raspberry pi 0w supports wireless lan so i'm going to copy all this wireless lan profile and paste this into notepad plus plus file so here we go now here in place of ssid you have to put your home network ssid so make sure to insert that and here you have to insert your password of your ssid so here it is guys your network configuration file is ready i have renamed the file as my dash network make sure you do that and copy this file and paste this file into your sd card but make sure you paste this into a newly created config folder and the folder name should be in capital in the config folder create a new folder named as network and in this folder insert your my dash network config file so there it is guys all the steps are completed now you can safely check the sd card now you simply have to insert the sd card into your raspberry pi and connect your usb power so to boot your home assistant on your raspberry pi shortly after some time the raspberry pi will broadcast a local server of home assistant that you can find onto your router's network page so here you can see guys my raspberry pi is broadcasting the home assistant onto 192.168.100.166 now here you can put your name username and password to create a new home assistant account here you can see some of my previous devices and configuration already recognized by home assistant you can set up them here you can see there are more integrations list of integration goes on and on so you can see guys now i'm going to finish and let's proceed further so there we go guys our Home Assistant is successfully installed onto our Raspberry Pi and here you can see you can install any add-ons to get a feature unlocked for a particular use and there is a snapshot so you can take a backup system log so you can see guys our Home Assistant is working flawlessly now you can join this beta channel reboot shutdown and things like that from here now if you go into overview this will be our home dashboard and this is just a quick uh, glance guys we can do a separate video on explaining each of this feature and here you can see guys in the integrations all of my previous devices you can see my open wrt router my other of this esp devices in my future videos we will be going to make lot of smart devices with esp wi-fi development board so make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that ringing bell 
notification icon guys and also let me know what are the iot devices that you want me to build on to the play store if you search for home assistant you can see guys home assistant has android app so you can download this and it will work flawlessly onto any android device that's for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed this video a lot please hit that like button share this video subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one